When I was a kid, people used to sell, you know, drugs on the corner. Remember you had the drug dealer on the corner, like he's fucking sitting there saying, how many? Hey, yo, how many? How many you need? You got fucking, you want some? Oh, I got some. Oh, you got some. Oh, you want some. What? You remember that? You remember those guys? You remember the guys on the corner? If you're old enough to remember the fucking drug dealers on the corner selling, pushing drug pushers on the corner. There's no more drug dealers on the corner because now they wear suits. They're they're corporate corporate slobs that uh, businessmen. They're businessmen. Where they put their jacket on? Once they put your once you put your jacket on, you're uh, you can you know you're above the law, right? That's what happened, right? But not today, right? So what happened was there's a a very very interesting indictment that just uh, hit uh, a ex CEO um, of a corporation of a pharmaceutical manufacturer is getting charged with drug trafficking oh so fucking good they got him man drug trafficking so let's look at this clown right here so this is uh this is uh what's his name todd uh da, 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 da. lawrence dud lawrence dodd lawrence dodd the third oh he's so distinguished he's such a gentleman he's so he's so refined in his thinking and his behavior Let's see what he did, right? He's going to jail. He fucking fuck, 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 gotta fucking come here, you fucking Mister Dud. I'm gonna fuck your virgin ass, you fucking motherfucker. You can't come here. Oh, you wanna sell your drugs? I fuck <laughs> this fucking guy. Fucking, he's gonna get his ass fucked in jail. You think? Nah. Ain't gonna happen, right? Uh, he's too. He's too powerful. He's too strong, right? Uh, oh, there's more pictures of him. Is there? Oh, here he is. So this is Lawrence Dud, the Dud. Interestingly, this you see this lawyer right here. This lawyer is the same lawyer for the QAnon killer. Q, Q. He's the QAnon killer lawyer, right? That's uh, Gottlieb, Robert Gottlieb. I interviewed him. Well, I, I asked some questions in the press conference twice already. Now he's this guy's lawyer. Damn, fucking! I should go say, "Oh, what's up, man? Is it, you remember me?" <laughs> it's crazy, man. So. um Let's just look at these pictures. So he's outside 500, 500. That's um, that's the swamp here in uh, New York. That's the Southern District of New York. Uh, su federal, sorry, Federal Supreme. Uh, and uh, 500, I think it's Pearl Street. It's where uh, Caesar Sayoc was. Uh, they dragged Caesar Sayoc in a criminal court. Uh, hmm. Got a good lawyer. He's free, right? He's free. So the, the QAnon killer is locked behind bars, his hand, hands tied behind his back. Caesar Sayoc in jail. They're all in jail, but not not a billionaire. No, 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 not a retired, very distinguished man, right? If you were, if you sold all that five hundred billion, how many millions of dollars, and it peddling your peddling your shit that um, and got caught? If you were, what about the the the, the, the guy in the, the Mexican guy, Chapo? Il Chapo. Right? Why don't you lock him up like Il Chapo? Right? So uh, this is, I guess, the opioid. It's an opioid crisis. We're having a goddamn crisis. So, so here he is, right? New York pharmaceutical industry executive hit Tuesday with criminal charges. Usually they just get civil charges and they pay a fine. This is different. This is the way to go. Lock him up. Right? Criminal charges stemming from the opioid crisis doesn't uh, have his name on a museum wing, and his company isn't within earshot of Apple or anyone else on the Fortune 500 uh, com company. Even his $1.5 million paycheck was a paltry sum compared to his peers. Sir Lawrence Dud III, the retired CEO of Rochester Drug Cooperative, Rochester Drug Cooperative. There's also Purdue Pharma. You remember Purdue Pharma with the Sickler family, right? That they're the, the manufacturers of Oxycontin. But here's the here's the middleman, right? So the 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 Sicklers are so distinguished in their and refined in their wealth, right? They manufacture the opioids, the Oxycontin, and then they pass it to Sir Sir Dud the Third, Sir Lawrence Dud the Third who then is the manufacturer. He's the middleman. He's the guy who then distributes the, the, the narcotics to the, to the dirty doctors, that, the dirty pharmacies that give it out. Right? That's how it works. Right? So, um, so the fringes, he works on operating on the fringes of the drug business, obliterating red flags to turn his small New York firm into a supplier of, 
uh, last resort for independent pharmacies whose dubious practices got them cut off by other distributors, an indictment unsealed Tuesday alleges. Apparently, in pursuit of bigger profits for the company and fatter bonuses for himself, Dud encouraged his sales force to sign up new customers with no questions asked, picking up competitors, competitors' rejects as he boasted that his company was the, quote, knight in shining armor for independent pharmacies, the indictment said. Uh, he's saying, well, what happened? It's all about profit, right? We've always told you that a a commercialized for-profit pharmaceutical and medical industry always leads to this. It always leads to corruption because it's driven by money, right? Instead of it being about healthy people, he's talking about profits. You think he gives a shit about pain relief? You know, that all these people, you know, suddenly they need pain relief? No, it's just they're paying for it. Give them the fucking drug, man. Give them, give them the drug, man. Give them the fucking how many? How many you need? I got it. This is a drug dealer. Dud, 75. Oh, so uh, the Rochester's largest customers went from buying 70,000 units of Oxycontin per month to uh, 2012 to more than 200,000 units per month a year later. Wow. So people were in more pain a year later? 7, 14, almost three times the amount of people? Dud had his has had it had its back, overruling his own compliance officers, ordering that the pills keep flowing because it was a quote big account, the indictment says. So these they got this guy, right? He's he's pushing drugs. He's pushing drugs for profit, right? That's what drug dealers do. Whether you want to call this legal, why is it legal? Why is it legal to push drugs? Because because why? Right? It's illegal. Right? Rochester Co Drug Cooperative, Rochester Drug Cooperative, and other former executives were also charged. Good criminal charges. The company entered into a def- the deferent uh, prosecution agreement and former compliance chief, whatever. Right. So they're already in negotiations. They all got the suits on. They're all negotiating. Right. He's going to ne- negotiate the guy right out the goddamn door. Right. Lock him up. Um. The, the thing, again, the, the thing about this, this indictment is that it will be one of the first of its kind. Right? I'll just say that. You can read the article for yourself. It's AP uh, yesterday, right? But what I'll say about it is that this will be one of the first of its kind where drug pharmaceutical you know, executives are being charged with drug trafficking. Two counts in this case. Uh, that'll be good because then it would set precedence. And then when you when you drag this guy up the stairs and lock him up for two or three years, it sends it has a you know a a, a a reverberating effect. It's like oh shit, we're getting fucked, right? We're getting fucked, right? So they, it sets a reverberation down that industry when you lock a few of them up for for peddling drugs, right? But again, always the the real solution is is universal single payer health care. And you wouldn't have scumbags like this. You would have eliminated dereliction of duty by default because we're not going to, we're, we're not, it's not a business. It's not a business, a for profit business to get as many people in America hooked on opiates so that you can line your pockets and have another house in the Hamptons. That's not what it's about. So, again, universal single payer health care is the way to go. That's, that's the solution. To this problem, right? Ah, socialist. Socialist. Conti just said, he just said socialism. Man, no, socialism, you fucking moron, is not, is not, socialism that you think of is the, is the 1970s Soviet communism, austerity, authoritarianism. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about social programs for people and eliminating the waste and fraud and abuse. Right? And replacing it with programs that we actually need for the people and that could actually save the people. You want to solve the opioid, o- opioid problem? Okay, you're not going to solve it by le- letting guys like Dud run the, run the industry and, and push opioids on, on your, you know, your kids and your mother. Right? You, you, want, you want to get rid of that problem? 
legal le- drug legalization and universal single payer health care. And you've you've come you're coming closer uh, closer to the truth. Marcus Conti reporting kindly become a Patreon. It's the way we support this. Uh, the way I support this channel. <laughs> And uh, thank you very much. Don't forget to resubscribe. YouTube is uh, aggressively unsubscribing people. Thank you. Marcus Conti reporting. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you.